The Sahara is one of the greatest deserts in the world. Long considered as the other face of the Mediterranean, it has played a fundamental role in shaping the culture of the region since prehistoric times. Just a few thousand years ago, the Sahara was lush savanna and water was still abundant. The art depicted on its rocks by successive civilizations tells a remarkable story of changing climate and human adaptation. C'est une grande leçon d'adaptation des êtres humains qui vivaient dans cette zone. Le territoire du Tassili, géré donc par un mode de vie nomade et un autre mode de vie sédentaire qui était là et qui a tout le temps cohabité entre les deux, donc pour donner une réponse au changement climatique, soit changement d'aridité ou de période humide. As the Sahara is transformed into one of the most arid and extreme environments on our planet, artists illustrate the changes in human livelihoods, from hunting to cultivation, to the herding of cattle and later of camels. <laughs> The creation of the Sahara was induced over thousands of years by natural phenomena associated with shifts in the Earth's orbit. Now, massive changes to the planet's climate are rapidly being driven by mankind. These could produce catastrophic effects that we may experience during both our own lifetimes and those of our children. Climate change is a change of our climate system due to an, an anthropogenic and the natural uh, causes. But in the last uh, hundreds of years, the science is giving us more evidence that the anthropogenic uh, cause of climate change are overwhelming the natural causes. Which are the anthropogenic causes? Are emission of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, methane, or uh, nitro oxide, which are affecting the natural greenhouse effect. So they are reinforcing the, this greenhouse effect and producing global warming. And also on the other side, we have deforestation. So if we deforest, uh, we lose carbon sinks, and so we increase the net concentration of the CO2 in our atmosphere. Nous savions déjà que la spécificité géomorphologique du bassin méditerranéen était une cause de sa vulnérabilité. Nous savions aussi que le développement humain et la littoralisation du développement qu'a connu la région méditerranéenne depuis les années 50 a aggravé cette vulnérabilité. Mais aujourd'hui, on assiste à un phénomène qui aggrave encore davantage cette vulnérabilité. Les changements climatiques, avec l'ensemble de ses implications, aggravent davantage cette vulnérabilité de la région méditerranéenne et de l'Afrique du Nord. Dans les accords de Paris, nous avons voulu que ces 
populations vulnérables soient protégées. Vous savez qu'à travers le monde, il y a 700 millions de personnes qui n'ont pas accès à l'eau potable. 300 millions de ces personnes se trouvent en Afrique. Il y a aujourd'hui un milliard de personnes qui n'ont pas accès à l'énergie, qui utilisent la tourbe ou le bois de feu pour se chauffer et qui, tous les jours, menacent non seulement les changements climatiques, mais leur santé. Et aujourd'hui, il va falloir qu'on trouve une solution à ces pays. Today, the main cause of climate change is recognized to be the accumulation of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere as a direct result of human activities. To stabilize global warming under 2 degrees, the world needs to cut emissions to zero before the end of this century. In December 2015, at the Paris Climate Meeting, negotiators reached a historic international agreement to begin slowing the impact of climate change. What does it mean, the two degree target, which has been adopted from the European Union already in 1996, if I'm not wrong, is about to keep the global surface air temperature up to a limit of two degrees respect to the pre-industrial level. So respect to the temperature level before the industrial revolution. So if we keep the temperature increase, most likely the impacts of climate change in the different sectors will be addressed through adaptation and will not be too costly and we will not reach tipping points, irreversible state of change of our climate system. The Paris Agreement is a historic agreement. For the first time, we have a universal uh, and binding climate uh, chain agreement which gives us the tools uh, to be able to stop global warming uh, in dangerous levels for the world. So it's a historic uh, uh, situation, and now we have to implement what we have agreed in Paris. COP21 and maybe a quantum leap, since it's not only the duty of the states and the governments to execute all the commitments they have pledged for in Paris, but also we have the citizens of the world, we have the civil society, and I believe this is a better commitment. I'd like to ask you to join us in making a commitment and being under this, the scrutiny of our children in 10 years from today. So, with your help, here come the trees. Climate change may jeopardize the economic development so far achieved in the Mediterranean region. Income and employment may be lost and the economies of many countries severely damaged. Income gaps between the rich and the poor may widen, with many poor countries driven towards greater poverty. ما كاين الحوت ما كاين والو غير تمارا امشي واجي امشي واجي شي حاجه ما كاين حتى ما بقاتش كتصب الحوت ما بقاش كيهون صافي الحوت كيمشي بحالو على برا كيخرج بحالو صافي ديك الساعه المحاوله قليله ماشي وصافي على القاقط وصافي At the mythical Pillars of Hercules, the headlands of the southern and northern rims of the Mediterranean coast are so close they almost touch. A poignant reminder of the proximity of the Mediterranean people throughout history. Now countries in the region are bound together in confronting the common threat of climate change and global warming. Already the impacts of global warming, we are experimenting them in the South Mediterranean very clearly. So having a global commitment to stop the increase in temperatures and putting in action all the support for developing countries to 
uh, implement adaptation and mitigation strategies is a very good news and for the first time we have done this collective exercise and this collective commitment to fight global warming. Global warming is already manifest in receding glaciers and snow lines. For the Mediterranean region, current projections announce a potential drop of almost one-third in annual rainfall. Droughts are likely to become more frequent, more intense and longer lasting. For pastoralists, changing climate conditions may disrupt their seasonal movement in search of new pastures for their flocks and herds. كل شيء من الشتاء، شيء من الشتاء لأنه مثل ما كي قليل. لا لا يون لا يون بزاف كاين مثل قد تكون شيء ثلاثين في المية الربيع كي قليل. لا كاين ما دابا كاين اللي كي بيع قال البهايم وما وما كيجيش بزاف لأنه كاين المصاريف ولا كشي. The ski season began around the 15th of December, before Christmas, and it used to snow until the end of March. Whereas now, last year, for example, uh, that is considered a good year, the snow season began on the 6th of January and lasted until the 15th, 20th of March. So you have like a month of difference in the ski season. Climate change in Lebanon start to be uh, significantly uh, seen and, and understood, mostly from snow cover that uh, usually covers all these mountains in Lebanon. Because snow is the source of our water resources, whether in aquifers or in rivers. And then we use all this water for our needs in agriculture and for humans and for animals uh, in our daily life. في سنين ما بتروح على الطرق ما حدا بيعوزها في سنين العالم تقتل بعضها لتشرب ما هلا كل فليح وكل انسان بيعرف مصلحته السنه مثلا في جفاف مي اللي كان عم يزرع 300 دولو صار بيعملوا 200 بيلاقي كمان في اكثر الجفاف بيعملوا 100 وبيلحوا هالطريقه هاي وهالعالم مثل ما بيقول المثل تعقل تعقل وتوكل Think and then act. This is the key to secure a sustainable food supply and to adapt to climate change. Rising temperatures in the region are expected to cause a decrease in land areas suitable for agriculture, shorten the length of growing seasons and reduce crop yields. Here in the suburbs of Beirut, farmers are resorting to cultivating within greenhouses as the city expands all around them. It was the suburb of Beirut and the cro uh, traditional crops were grown here in this area. During the last decades, a decrease in the rainfall while an increase water demand, either from urbanization or from agriculture, especially that in this area, farmers have switched to greenhouses. We ملحت ملحت المي لانه عم نستعمل مي كثير ملحت المي واثرت علينا كثير rain water is collected from the greenhouse rooftop by the gutters which moves first in the first flash which consists of 0.5 mm of the rainfall then the remaining water that is collected from the greenhouse moves to the buffer tank and then to the storage tank Climate change may lead to the widespread displacement of populations. Periods of severe drought and crop failure may contribute to the exodus of farmers from the countryside to the cities. 
a factor potentially heightening social unrest, the possibility of conflict, and ultimately of migration. This is Syria. This is a formal Syrian house or a formal Syrian refugee house. Um, Syrians here in Wadi Khaled uh, don't live uh, in, uh, in informal settlements and camps or something like that. Uh, residents here prefer to, to let them uh, live in, uh, in, uh, in their apartments, in, the, in their building or even in unfinished building. There has been some, um, some talks about um, refugees being impacted or caused by climate change in Syria and then uh, being one of the causes of